Hello everyone, I'm Louis Simmons, Westside Barbell Club. Uh, Westside Barbell Club is the strongest gym in the world. Last year we broke 13 all-time records, regardless of federations, all-time. Uh, I myself was a top 10 lifter for 30 years. I've totaled elite from 1973 until 2010, and I plan on continuing to do it. I'm 64 years old. Um, I was top 10 in the bench press. I was six when I was 54. I was fourth in the total when I was 52 and third in the squat in the world. And uh, what I learned along the way was a lot of spatial strength. Uh, my first webinar is going about the conjugate system. The conjugate system is a, a system of connecting exercises and volumes and so forth uh, where you constantly make progress. You don't have uh, seasonal training. It's all connected in the weekly plan, which turns into a monthly and a yearly plan. Uh, the, the, ball, or the, the Russians came up with the conjugate system 1972 by a scientific uh, name of this conjugate system of the Dynamo Club, uh, where they use 25 to 40 exercises uh, on a plan with uh, 70 highly qualified weightlifters. After a period of time training, uh, everyone was satisfied uh, with the system. One guy was satisfied, the other lifters all wanted more exercises. That's how it was built. Uh, the Bulgarian system has a limited amount of exercises. They rotate, you know, basically power clean, clean, um, the conditional clean, the power snatch, the real snatch, and uh, the front and the back squat. Uh, but these are model athletes. I don't recommend anyone do that program because you have to be absolute model athlete like an NFL ball player with a certain amount of reach, certain amount of height, certain size hands. And um, so it is for model athletes. So, But the Soviet system, I feel, is the best. Uh, I'm like the Soviet system, and uh, I will describe why they have so many max effort uh, lists in a year to Bulgarians, basically around 4,000, while the Russians have 600 all-time records. I will discuss the discrepancy between these two. West Side's the same. We did about 600. Um, the, the Soviet system had many, many exercises. We have many, many more. Why? I use lots of spatially bars on all programs, bench squat, deadlift, uh, even Olympic lifting. If I was to teach Olympic lifting in this country, they would do a lot of spatial bars to avoid accommodation. Um, plus we use bands and chains. The Russians did use, talked about bands in 1966, Dr. Medvedev. Um, uh, Yuri Verfashansky is the one who came up with long-term delayed transformation and uh, is a phenomenal man, uh, the, the father of modern plyometrics. And uh, he used block, somewhat of a block periodization with long-term de, um, delayed transformation, where I believe transformation phases must be shorter. And uh, so you're going to see in this seminar how we not only blend exercises, but also intensity zones, volume, uh, spatial bars and spatial exercises to make the system complete and a yearly plan where we're constantly strong. We're 95 percent strength all year long, year in, year out. And uh, a lot of people think because I'm a power lifter primarily, um, I, I like to think I'm a spatial strength coach. I know all spatial strengths. I also have people jump on top of 63 inch boxes. So you know not only do we just have 1200 pound squatters uh, we, and 800 pound 60 pound deadlifters, we have people jump on 63 inch boxes. So I think that it talks for itself. And so I hope you turn into the seminar and check it out. I think you'll learn a lot. Uh, the, after, after the first one, it's the West Side System, totally conjugate. I'm going to go into spatialists, for instance, like in, um, how to train periodization and planning. This is a key to everything. Without a plan, you plan to fail. So I hope you uh, check in my first seminar, the conjugate system, the West Side System. It's very, very popular now in the United States, and it has been overseas. So um, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and see you at the webinar.